How's it going guys? In this video we're going to be talking about how to save Twitch streams for later. So to start off, uh, we're going to use the Livestreamer app. You can find the instructions on how to install that in the description below in my link. But uh, the way it works is you just type in Livestreamer. Then you do the name of the stream. In this case, I'm using this person on the front page, their stream. I don't know who they are. I'm sure that they're talented. I just use the stream because it's there. Type in the name of your quality so we can go best or worst. Then just do tag O and then let's go with livestream.mp4. That is instantly going to find and match the Twitch plugin and it's going to start streaming it to a file. Now the reason this is important is because I can quickly launch this and watch it in VLC as it goes on. And uh, I can watch it like any other normal video and it's going to save to this file and then when I'm done which uh, let's let it go for a little bit here, like say 30 seconds. I'm gonna let it go. Okay, I think 15, 16 is enough. I can go back to the terminal, I can click Control C or Z, whatever one you wanna do to stop it. Close this and then I've always, I'm always gonna have this recording here. So this is always gonna exist because I recorded it during the live stream and I can watch it at any time and it's a record of it. it. It records it as you watch it. So it's pretty useful. So that means that you're not dealing with the huge long download. You're watching it as you go and you can stop it and start it. And it's useful, especially if you'd like to watch Twitch streamers and you want to keep it as a record for later. And uh, you can rename it and do whatever you want with that. The next thing, the next app we're going to talk about is YouTube, YouTube DL. Now YouTube DL can download Twitch streams at live, which I did not know at the time of writing this article, but I've since found that out. But uh, we're going to be using it to transcode a video from Twitch. So let's go to this person's videos. Uh, they've got this video here. I can click copy link location. Then I can go to YouTube DL and just paste the video link. It's going to go through, transcode a video for me. And uh, it's probably a large video, as you can see, three gigabytes. But it's pretty cool if you see a YouTube in, in the uh, video on demand section of a Twitch streamer that you like. You want to save it for later, and uh, that's how that all works. Um, please check the link in the description. I go over all of this in detail. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.